Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today we are going to be talking about the Bush's Land resettable target system that they uh, came out with. And let me tell you, there's a lot to talk about. So if you're interested in all of it, then stay tuned, because it's going to get long. Um, these guys sent this to me uh, quite a while ago. I do apologize, I'm sure that they're chomping at the bit for this review, uh, but honestly, I've just been really busy. And I had told them that from the beginning, but, and then I made a video and I really wasn't satisfied with it, so I wanted to make a new one. So this targeting system is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 separate targets all in one so basically you shoot a target when it's full it'll go down the next one comes up and you do that via a remote control you can actually reach out to a hundred yards or maybe further with a good line of sight from the extendable antenna to the antenna down here on the unit itself um, i have found that um using it uh, in my backyard i did some testing i'd say probably 30 yards it worked pretty well. I will say that uh, you will notice if the battery in the unit itself gets low, it'll stop responding. Even though it's not dead, it'll kind of hit or miss. So it's a great way to know when you need to recharge your unit here, which does come with a charging cable. So this is a uh, little alligator clip set up here. You've got a positive and a negative underneath the cover here in this box. You've also got the power switch down here in the box as well. Um, targets are, uh, well, we'll show you. Uh, nine volt battery into the uh, remote control. Does not come with a nine volt battery, just to give you guys a heads up. But once you've got this set up where you're interested in shooting, simply hit the button and you've got a target shoot said target when you're done with that hit the button again you've got a new target when you're done with that one rinse repeat there you go another target and you can imagine when you're done shooting that one if i hit the button you have another target so great little setup really truly is um i will say that um it's very violent <laughs> when it happens and, and that's and that's understandable it's a spring system not a big deal but they did include some little cutouts in the feet here so i figured you know when uh we set this thing up to be pseudo full, full time i'll probably stick it on a piece of plywood or maybe you'll want to do that now there are some pros to this and there are some cons so let's get started with the pros. Awesome idea. Great way to not have to walk however far away you are. You wanna sit on your porch with your CO2 or your pumper or your brake barrel or your PCP or whatever, or your powder burner, and just shoot out to 25, 50 yards, whatever, and then just have your targets reset. Look no further, this is definitely right up your alley. Um, now some people I've had, I've talked to some people about it and they're like, well, you know, Moose, what's the difference between that and let's say just cut up a cardboard box and stick some of these splatter bursts all over it and you got nothing. Didn't have a comeback for that one. No, I really truly didn't. Matter of fact, I started asking myself that same question when I thought about the $200 price tag on this unit. So I was kind of like, all right. But either way, still a cool idea. And realistically, you know, I think there really truly is a place for this unit. Now, as far as cons go, 
it is ridiculously labor intensive when it comes to putting the whole thing together. Each one of these cards takes two nuts and a wing nut, or two bolts and a wing nut with four washers to attach, and you actually have to have them come upright, and you have to do them from the back forward, and I mean, it's, it's just laborious. Just understand that. Not that it's a, I mean, I guess you could technically do it the other way, but I found that working from the back forward was the easiest way. Um, the instructions that come with it, shoddy at best. They're not very clear. They seem to have been written by an engineer, not by somebody who's trying to explain to somebody who's not an engineer how to put something together. They do have videos out on their website, which is great. However, who has time to go watch a video on how to assemble a product that comes with a sheet that's supposed to tell you how to do it? Nobody. Or maybe you do. Uh, either way, these are just my cons. The next part of the con setup, what happens when these pieces of corrugated material have finally met their demise well i mean yes you could you you can go find it i'm sure home depot has stuff like that lowe's and menards anybody but now you're cutting your own pieces and you're drilling out holes and you're doing whatever the other or the next kind you can't really use paper targets. Well, you can, but I'll tell you what happened to me when I was doing it during my, just my testing. I was putting paper on there and just taping it on, but the violent action of this thing coming up and down actually had wind catch behind the target and pull the target off. So I certainly don't want to be 100 yards away from my target, hit my button and have my target fly off. So I found that you really have to use sticky targets. We'll be right back. Meanwhile. All right, sorry about that everyone. The battery went dead. I had to actually stick it on the charger. Well, it was going dead. But, uh, you know, back to this setup, you know, back to more cons, unfortunately. Um, the system itself, my battery's dead again. Great. Because that's what I didn't need. Another dead battery. Alright, I'm going to tell you guys this. This is straight up honest to God. I just got done charging this thing. This little thing here will read red. And then it will go green when it's ready. Uh, we're about, what, 10 minutes into the video? Not even 10 minutes. I literally turned the machine on right at the very beginning of this video. I turned it off. Yep, it's on. I turned it off when the GoPro battery died and turned it right back on right before I hit the power and the battery's already dead again and it won't recycle the unit. So I'm going to go back to the other cons for a moment. The other con is, shoot this thing. There goes $200 right out the window. Shoot this thing, $200 bucks right out the window. Shoot a leg off, $200 bucks right out the window. The company claims, you know, that you should set up protection for the front of this unit. So, I gotta spend $200 on this, and then I need to buy some AR500 steel to make sure that the target itself doesn't get destroyed. Hmm. I don't think so. Um, or they say use sandbags. Well, sandbags would be great for air guns. Until you get up to the bigger calibers. 
So, and then on top of that, the sheer awkwardness of it and the fact that I've got to carry this. And, and it's not super heavy. I'd say maybe 15 pounds, maybe. And I'm guessing, guys. So if somebody actually knows the weight, listen, I was guessing about 15 pounds. I got to carry this thing 15 pounds, 100 yards or 50 yards or 75, or however far away I'm going to put it. Then I got to turn the unit on, walk back, get my gun out of the case, and by then the freaking battery's dead. Oh, now it works. Well, that happened before to me too. Just kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it wants to work, sometimes it doesn't. See, here we go. We're back to dead battery. All right. Both buttons, doesn't matter which one I hit. So, either way, dead battery. Is it worth $200? Yes. If the battery would stay working. Is it worth $200 to know that honestly you're going to have to put it on a platform? Because that's the other downfall is setting this thing down in the dirt. Mm, probably not going to work. So it's got to be on a platform. So you have to build a platform. Then the platform weighs however much it weighs. So now you got to drag the platform back. Like I said, it can't sit outside. You certainly can't just leave this sitting outside. So are you gonna build like a doghouse shelter for it? No. So all in all, I mean, my honest opinion is awesome idea, great idea. Seriously, I really do enjoy it. It's very cool. The idea behind it is amazing. However, the cons at this particular point way outweigh the pros way outweigh the pros number one it don't it doesn't work half the time so if i'm walking bang for the 100 yards or 50 yards i might as well just take cardboard down set it up and shoot that if i'm already going to be doing it so with that being said i would honestly have to say that this unit itself no no, I really wouldn't waste your money on it. Um, as a matter of fact, this one, I'm going to give it away. Um, we're going to probably take it up to the shop and let people put their names in a hat. And then we'll draw names and somebody will get it. And maybe they'll get it to work. Maybe they won't. I don't know. But either way, for me, like I said, awesome idea not such great execution so i'm sure that they've got other ones that work just fine unfortunately this one does not so with that being said i'm moose this is aragon to michigan this is the bush's land resettable target and uh unfortunately it's not necessarily for me i may still take it out and do another shooting video I actually did a shooting video with it. Um, I just I just had one of the uh, little pieces of corrugation on there, and and uh, and it was cool. I like the idea of it, but like I said, it really made me nervous with this. You know, especially if you get your friends that come over and they're like, "Yeah, man, I want to shoot," and their gun isn't sighted in, and they send a pellet through one of these plastic pieces. And then you've got a $200 paperweight. So, with that being said, be good to each other. God bless. And we'll see you guys all next time. Take care.